exactly here. What's this about being a real crowd pleaser? Well, Jim, I was playing in a rock band, and one night from the stage, I saw a gorgeous girl. I fell in love and talked to her on the break. We've been going out for three years now, and she can still turn my head. Oh. This is another good fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. I'm going to place the C for $500, where if you ask a stupid question, you'll get a stupid answer. Uh, Congress? That's it. <laughs> Bow before the shoes before you. <laughs> You're a young man, you shall have 15 sons and name them Seth. <laughs> Grandma! Grandpa! I flew 34 hours in a marine cargo plane to get here. But it's worth it all just to say, happy anniversary, I love you! <laughs> me! He wants me! He wants me to go with him. Hi, Mom. It's me, Davey. <laughs> oh, I miss you too, Mom. And Pop. Of course, old Rusty. Randy, why haven't you called me? I guess our night together meant nothing to you. What? How can you say that? You know you mean the world to me, darling. Now, trust me. I can explain. Fine. Let's hear it. You bet. Just give me a sec, right? Have a seat, and I will be right there. <laughs> Paul, her name is Sue. She works in accounting. Thank you. Right. What's happening here is wrong, Corinna. Don't be a part of it anymore. It's just a reset. It is more than that. Those case? Yeah, I have to get his dad's statement. Oh, listen, I heard you were going off duty, so I got tickets for the Pearl Jam concert this weekend. You up for it? I... You know what that is. <laughs> Wait a minute, I only hacked into Star Lab's computer as a prank. Nevertheless, you got the key to Superman's confidential medical files, and with them, we know the key to his powers lies in his vast energy reserves. Uh, we were low level, uh, 200 feet, coming in under radar along the coast to pop up and simulate a harm strike. Uh, about uh, a year ago, I went to the track with some buddies of mine, and, and I got lucky, and I picked a winner on my first bet. Only I didn't think that it was luck. I thought that I had some kind of special knack. But I didn't. Carla really surprised me with this whole thing. I didn't even have time to learn how to speak Canadian. <laughs> Just wish I had something left to accomplish. What do you say, mister? You're doing us a favor. Uh, I have too much love to give, you know? It's like I'm a 50-gallon drum of love. <laughs> What'd you believe? I love you. <laughs> I owe you an apology. I was out of control. I'm sorry. That can't be right. <laughs> Guess who uh, they are. Okay, bachelor number one is the entire cast of South Park. Yes. Where I come from, when a man feels a certain way for a woman, he uh, he picks the time to sit with her family, you know, so good man, and if your ground crew are good men, that is all you can ask for. And with the grace of God, that'll get you through. Come on. Hi, kid. What's that? Stands bad. People, let's go, team, and we're losing him. Hey, you guys want to be on a television show? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Call this guy with the hat, and the microphone. He's gonna take you over the hair and makeup. Thanks for volunteering. That's really good of you. Am I starting to burn? Where can I get a body like yours? <laughs> Did you see the guy with the singing book in his ass? Look, this is a part of my life that I never told you about because I was afraid it might scare you away. But I'm a big believer in extraterrestrial life. Ridgecrest. It's, it's on China Lake South. Take me there. Please. I didn't do anything wrong. Nick, if you make any noise about this, your client, my client, won't see a dime. Is that what you want? There was um, a <gasps> conversation and it was uh, memory lane. 
there were women. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to On The Spot. This is the show that is half written, and you are going to help our cast to improvise. You're in town, and you got a story to tell. <laughs> well, nobody ever said that Connor Fulton didn't give New Town a break. Ain't that right? Had to do the surgery. They both would have died. Kathleen's life had to be risked your whole life you always had to be the funniest guy around for sure so uh when does your memory begin when a policeman nudged me awake on the stoop before that it's just blank improv games because these two guys are going to do a scene and from time to time when they say a line I'm going to say new choice they're going to have to make up a brand new line right there on the spot you take everything that is real and good and you turn it into tinsel but the worst part tinsel man is that you don't even know it the 12 new local accounts we had a total of 4% organic growth which was just above our pre-year targets Thanks very much. You need to tell me the truth about last night. The truth, Julia. Because without the truth, there is no way that Daddy can lie his way out of this. God, Christine, Joe. how you doing? Oh, come on in. Wow. What are you doing here? I thought you were staying at Richard's. Yeah, I was. I just couldn't sleep. Yeah. I knew Christine and Richard were in the other bedroom. And then the sex started. It's taking so long. You should be to the joint capsule by now. What? Kidding. <laughs> oh. What is all this? She's been answering your mail. For what? She wanted people to think that you cared. We made a good team. You know, he was a genius, but he wasn't aggressive. My hand, really hard, hard as you can, okay? Come on. Come on. Squeeze it. Okay. Okay. Let go. Yeah. Ow! Come on. I gotta operate with this. Huh? You pay people good money, you expect them to finish the job. Think I'm not all over this? The state's key witness turns up dead, but I need evidence. Of course, they each have the carbon footprint of a tiny African baby. Oh, and I made them shoes. Mm, tomorrow at noon, come at the beginning, I can give you about 20 minutes. Lines. His lines are written down in that play. Brad doesn't have any lines. Brad has to improvise his lines right now. So that's why this is called Playbook. You can leave whenever you want. You can come back any time you want. You're not some overnight sensation. Well, you are sensational overnight, to the best of my recollection. This is Chip Esten, and I can't even believe what I'm about to say. I am backstage, upstairs, in a dressing room at the Ryman Auditorium, about to join the Grand Old Opry show that's going on downstairs. This is my debut at the Grand Old Opry. Well, my wife is Patricia, so I wish they'd ask me for number two, but... Um... From 1912, that takes us back. So I appreciate everybody who's here tonight who is walking. God bless you, and God bless everybody you're walking for. Thank you, Nashville. Every single Friday, to coin a phrase, I'm going to put out a single <laughs> for as long as it makes sense.
promised that if Bearland sold out, I would wear a kilt. So this is your fault. Robbie Pruitt, uh, vocals and guitar. It's a brand new song. It's called Story of My Life. Hope you like it. You caught my ass fair and square. I did it. Did all of it. It's gonna be a big memorial from the trust. I, just... I don't know if I really want the bench inside some church that she was never even in before. He and I, this has been um, easily our life's work, and it's extremely gratifying. Over the past eight years, the Estens have raised $1.5 million for Team Addy.